so this is like basically the most important um, day trip of my time in Japan here and I'm not prepared at all I don't have anything charged nothing I am late but I have an excuse uh, last night there were not one not two but three freaking mosquitoes that were bothering me the whole night uh, after like four hours I managed to kill them all but um, I think they kind of won because uh, I stayed up all night so <laughs> is that Suchan? Su Suchan! <laughs> Hi <-yo. laughs> I'm going to climb Mount Fuji Hi. From now? Hi. Wow. <laughs> so great. It's a good day. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I asked my south son for the day off because it's so nice. It's like the last nice day. You're going to be in the vlog. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Are you going to work? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. So cool. Okay, well, that, there goes the train that I wanted to take. Unfortunately, it's sold out. <sighs> Leads me to believe that a little bit of uh, planning before might go a long way. Anyway, so right now I'm looking for a, um, what is it called? Electrical outlet, because I have to charge everything. These things should have one, but I don't see them. Damn it. Fuji city and uh, there's one little problem uh, there are no buses whatsoever that go to Fujisan right now Mount Fuji and uh, I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get to it maybe it's completely out of the question I don't know let's see Fujinomiya, I made it, but bad news. There's absolutely no bus whatsoever going to Mount Fuji today. I think Fujisan's uh, peak is gonna have to wait until I come back next time, unfortunately. I really, really wanted to do this, but it looks like it's highly unlikely. Oh well. So instead, meanwhile, I'm gonna go uh, check out the, uh, the town that I lived for a month last time that I came to Japan and um, just kind of check out the sites and uh, the places I've been. So there are about 1300 shrines uh, dedicated to Mount Fuji in this area. I think they're called Schengen shrines. <coughs> shrines. And um, what we're gonna go see now is actually the most important one of them. Uh, that's where one of the uh, most important kamis related to Mount Fuji resides. Kami being uh, like a spirit or god. And I came here five years ago when I uh, when I crashed and had to stop in, in Fujinomiya for about a month. I definitely recognize the place. Mm, I wish you could smell the flowers. Mm. Silence. This is the forest of the temple. I feel like the forest itself is sacred too. 
perhaps even more than the temple. We should value places like this more. I feel like one day we're gonna overrun the earth with uh, with our cities. Places like this may not exist as often. One thing this this moment has taught me is this: if we're, if you really want something, you're gonna have to believe that you can get it. It doesn't matter if in the end you don't, because life is is a mystery. You really don't know what's gonna happen. But if you don't even believe that you're gonna get it, you're not even gonna try. And so, if by chance. If by chance luck is on your side and there is a small window of opportunity where you can actually get what you want, what a shame if you didn't believe in it enough and you didn't prepare enough for it. I feel like this is uh, today for me concerning climbing Mount Fuji. I managed to get the day off at the last second, which was unlikely. Fujisan is actually almost the clear of all snow which was unlikely it's a beautiful day which is really unlikely and I'm not ready to climb the freaking mountain because it didn't come prepared so I didn't do any research concerning the traveling and the buses and the gear and nothing so so it's not a problem but it didn't go as I wanted it to, but I kind of have myself to blame for it, so... Instead, I get to enjoy this beautiful forest, which I, I don't regret at all. I think each place uh, teaches us something, if we're w willing to learn the lesson. <laughs>